surface area to volume ratio is a really important concept that you need in biology and chemistry. To understand it, let's consider three cubes. Let's calculate the surface area to volume ratio for all of these cubes. Let's find the area of one side and multiply it by six because a cube has six sides. So one side is 0.1 multiplied by 0.1, but you have six of them, so times it by six. Divided by volume is length times width times height, that is 0.1 multiplied by itself three times, so we can call it 0.1 cubed. 60. Now it's really important to think about unit. Surface area is measured in centimeter squared. Volume is measured in centimeter cubed. When you divide those two, you get one centimeter in the denominator. So we can say per centimeter. The yellow area is 10 times 10, but we have six surfaces multiplied by six, divided by the volume, which is 10 times 10 times 10. One side here is 100 times 100 centimeter squared you have six of those so multiplied by six divided by volume is 100 cubed for the small object surface area to volume ratio is 60 medium object is 0.6 large object is 0.06 smaller cubes have a higher surface area to volume ratio for example nanoparticles have a tiny size but huge surface area compared to their size so what that means is they will lose heat faster, which is also linked to in biology. Smaller can lose heat faster through their bodies, whereas larger animals have a hard time doing that. The smaller the particle, the larger the amount of exposed surface area per unit volume. 